the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters this morning as we are gathered around the altar of god the lord is inviting each one of us to examine ourselves and see in this contest of coronavirus disease that how much love we have for the neighbors today's second reading saint paul is exhorting encouraging and inviting all of us that we love our neighbors This scripture passage is very relevant today. As people in and surrounding places are being affected, are under the spell of fear because of the pandemic that is happening today. St. Paul, inviting each one of us to this second reading giving us a certain commandments and these are all negative commandments and the lord all in fact saint paul is inviting each one of you to look at the positive part of this commandment commandment says do not commit adultery do not steal love your neighbor etc when it says the word of god is very clear he is asking each and every one of us to look at the the positive side of this commandments as we know if you look at the positive side we may not go into the negativity and the negative side of this commandments do not steal that's a negative energy but the lord will be saying be generous which is the fruits of the holy spirit on sundays the lord says participate in the eucharist and we say do not have a time the lord says do not commit adultery and the positive of this is if there is a bond if there is a love between husband and wife and then 
the real love is united there not the sin so as we are this sunday morning let's ask the lord this grace that we love one another as taught not only really by taught by jesus but shown by jesus that we love our neighbors and we becomes good samaritans at this time of this pandemic my dear brothers and sisters let's ask the lord pardon and mercy the times probably we had lot of opportunities we had chances we had our doors were open etc for showing charity to others and being and to become more generous to others in this we might have failed and this eucharist let's ask the lord to wash each one of us with his precious blood and give us a new heart a new mind a new soul so that this become we become the center of christ the christ can dwell and he can transform our lives therefore to this eucharist let's acknowledge our unworthiness and ask the lord pardon and mercy i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the summary of our virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us may he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
let us pray god of might giver of every good gift put into our hearts the love of your neighbor so that by deepening our sense of reverence you may nurture in us and what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one gone forever and ever amen a reading from the prophet ezekiel the word of the lord was addressed to me as follows son of man i have appointed you as sentry to the house of israel when you hear a word from my mouth warn them in my name if i say to a wicked man wicked wretch you are to die and you do not speak to warn the wicked man to renounce his ways then he shall die for his sin but i will hold you responsible for the dead if however you want a wicked man to announce renounce his ways and repent and he does not repent then he shall die for his sin but you yourself be house saved your life the word of the lord Thanks be to God. second reading a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans avoid getting into debt except the debt of mutual love if you love your fellow man you have carried out your obligations all the commandments you shall not commit adultery you shall not kill you shall not steal you shall not covet and so on as sum up in this single command you must love your neighbor as yourself love is the one thing that cannot hurt your neighbor that is why it is the answer to every one of the commandments the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god, god.
the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew glory, glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples if your brother does something wrong go and out with him alone between your two selves if he listens to you you have one by your brother if you does not listen take one or two others along with you the evidence of two or three witnesses is required to sustain any charge but if he refuses to listen to this report to the community and if he refuses to listen to the community treat him like a pagan or a tax collector i tell you solemnly whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosened in heaven i tell you solemnly once again if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all it will be granted to you by my father in heaven for where two or three meet in my name i shall be there with them the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus we have a wonderful promise in the first reading today and this promise you can get only from jesus no one else in the world and the prophet ezekiel is exhorting people that you help one person to come back to the lord and you repent for your sins and if it is through you that the person has come to jesus you are going to get the grace you are going to get a special blessing that's what we have in the first the book of ezekiel the word of god says this this if i say to a wicked man wicked wretch you are to die and you do not speak to want the wicked man to renounce his ways to give up his ways then he shall die for his sin but i will hold you responsible for his death it's a very strong message by ezekiel it's very simple is this you see someone sinning you see someone going away from the lord you see someone who is faulting and not going to the lord and they are living in the state of sin and you are not telling them that uh, you be better change your way better change your ways otherwise you are going to be responsible for the soul of that particular person but again the sekel says when the continue to say suppose if however you do one a wicked man to renounce his ways and repent and he does not repent then he shall die for his sin but yourself will have saved your life you will be saved you will be protected that's what the ezekiel says my dear friends when we look at the letter of james chapter 5 verse 19 and 20 same thing is repeated here james says my brothers and sisters if any one among you want is from the truth and is brought back to by another you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from wandering will save sinner's soul from death and he will cover a multitude of sins to make it very simple if i see some someone sinning and then i tell him my dear brother my dear sister you are going away from the lord and therefore may i request you to make a confession 
you repent for your sins and what is said james says and if i succeed in that if i am exhorting him and bring him back to the lord is not only the grace is given to him but i also receive the grace that is what the lord says your multitude of sins will be forgiven by the lord so do you want your sins to be forgiven do you want holiness to come to your life do you want holiness to come to your family do you want holiness to come to your place in which you are working do you want holiness to envelop the entire area the flight the houses the homes the hospitals the offices that you are working it is very simple ask them to come back to the lord ask them to change the ways the tragedy of today my dear friends is that we just close our eyes when people falter on their way when they deviate their life we just falter for example if you want some work to be done now people take it as granted giving bribery but i got a very clear do not give bribery and we say that everyone is doing that is an answer that we all of us hear these days but my dear for this when you say everyone is doing very often i speak i don't do it that how can you say that the whole world is doing that not at all you are mistaken there are honest people there are sincere officers there are sincere people who does the work according to the law and therefore the lord wants that we must tell people with courage and conviction wrong is wrong always is it was told that if you want to tell a lie you have to think a lot and uh, if you want to say the truth you don't require to think at all because even if the truth that is spoken today after 10 days it is asked it will be the same but if it is wrong it will be wrong forever and therefore you have to make new stories after stories after stories the lord is inviting us to today have you received the baptism if you have received the baptism you have the moral obligation and duty to bring back the souls the lost souls to the lord that is what many of the saints did the saint francis xavier when he came to india he cried before the lord lord i want souls i want souls that is what the cry of saint francis xavier my dear friends recently i came across a sister who shared her testimony what she did in a particular village visit this sister's main work is to evangelize or home mission they call it they go to different homes they stay in a family in the village and then visit all the houses meet them and pray with them and this process when the one family is as she was visiting she met a man who never made his confession after the first communion it happened that the day of confession came and the man's mother told her sister my son will not make a confession he will run away and you know what did that sister do as the confession was going on she noticed that this particular man had not come so with all earnestness and love for the man soul the sister rushed to the house and found that he is at home there he said to the mother i will not go for making confession and before she entering the house this man's sister coming 
so she he got into the bathing room and he started take bath so that he thought the sister stay back she will go back but you know what this sister do she stood outside the bathing room he thought sister her order is gone as she opened the door she is sister and seeing the compassionate heart of the sister seeing the love of the sister for his soul he went and made his second confession and i am sure the lord will bless this particular religious sister the lord is telling us today only one did make it to in our heart let's meditate upon and ask the lord how many people i have brought to the lord remember the promise of jesus multitude of sins will be forgiven by the lord and my dear friends let's ask the lord through this eucharist that our sins may be forgiven and the easy way is that make others to make their confession and the lord will again promise bless you and give you the holy spirit and he will touch you and the today's uh, gospel reading my dear friends the lord is asking us that uh, before you go to the court before you go file a case before you get to divorce you can say today is a contest you sit or you go to different people and try to reconcile and come back to the lord again for example if the couples want to divorce remember first go to a wise man maybe you can go to a priest maybe you can go to a person who will help you out talk it over probably the lord will save the situation you need not to go to the next step at all that is what the lord is in telling us to the gospel today so let's ask for this grace today that uh, we may able to forgive one another we may have the courage to discuss with one another we may be open to the others so that god may bless us abundantly and this is eucharist let's ask the lord that he may bless each and every one of us and his mercy may prevail in each one of us may god almighty bless you all in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen let's all pray together i believe in god the, the father, father almighty, almighty creator of heaven and earth, earth. and in jesus, jesus christ, christ his holy, his holy son, son our lord, lord who was conceived by the holy spirit, holy spirit born of the virgin mary, mary, mary suffered under pontius pilate was, was crucified died and was buried he descended into, into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and he sits at the right hand of the father almighty from there he will come again the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen my dear brothers and sisters let's place all our intentions before the lord and our responsibility lord hear our prayer lord, lord hear our, our prayer. prayer for our holy father pope francis our bishops and priests who have entrusted with a prophetic role that they may speak out bravely against any evil that destroys and wounds christ followers we pray to the lord Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for the nations that God may grant them leaders who wish to possess an understanding heart that they may judge their people rightly and distinguish right from wrong we pray to the Lord Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for vocations to the priestly and religious life that willing men and women may be brought to God's holy mountain and made joyful with us in his house of prayer we pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for all who are in suffering 
who have asked for our prayers that all things may work for their good through God's gentle and powerful providence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, that Jesus, who has prepared a place for each of them in the Father's house, may now welcome them home into heavenly joy. We pray you, O Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Placing all our intentions and particularly the children, the family into the hands of the Heavenly Mother, we pray Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace the Lord, Lord is with, with you. you. Blessed Bless are you among women, women. and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, in your hands we surrender all the personal intentions of people who are participating in this Eucharist through the media. They may experience peace, joy, happiness in their lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. O God, who gives us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself us and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, He freed us from the anointing death. By raising from the dead, He gave us life eternal. Also with angels and archangels, with the thorns and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest Hosanna, 
you are indeed holy o lord and only you have created rightly gives you praise for three years and all lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make the holy you never cease to be gather a people to yourself so that from the rising on the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name they for long to be humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously may holy these gifts as we have brought you for consecration that they may be for us the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ i do his command we celebrate this eucharist for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given now for you In a similar way, when Sapa was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith when, when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore lord as we celebrate the memory of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven as we look forward to his second coming we offer you thanks given this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church I recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and be filled with his holy spirit and may become one body one spirit in Christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles glorious martyrs saint joseph with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may the sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray o lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant francis our pope fraingo at the agnello our bishops the order of bishops all the clergy religious sisters all the catechists and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather tears of all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are placed to you, are they passing from this life? Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world, all that is good through him and with him and in him our god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever coming together as God's family. Let's pray with the trust in the Lord. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin. And save from all distress as we wait the blessed hope at the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your purposes, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful Lord, whom you nourish and enter with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace of Christ. 
Thanks be to God. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled the protection, implored their help, and sought the intercession, was left unaided. Inspire this confidence of flying to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to the I come before you I stand. Sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the World Incarnate, despise not in your petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Mary, seat of wisdom, pray for us. Lord, I come to your rose of presence, presence. 